what is going on guys you know what to do it's that beastly boy zero two and i'm here to razzle dazzle your minds ladies and gentlemen because this video is going to be five things that i don't like about the wwe part two this is part two to the five things that I don't like about WWE. I did a part one to this video. There will be a link in the description. And I did tell you guys when I did that. That I would do a part two. And I'm making good on my promise. So here we go. I just got something to say real quick. For the first time in forever. I got a haircut. No, I'm kidding. I got a haircut. But, um, I just need to say that. But, let's go into five things that I don't like about the WWE. Honestly, alright, this, so this is number one. Alright, so number one basically is, like, you know when they're bringing guys up from NXT, right? That's good. That's good. We've got a lot of good talent right there on NXT. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. They book the guys that come from NXT so badly. Like, um, for example, um, Paige. If you watch Paige's NXT matches, Paige, you, a lot of you guys dislike Paige and stuff. Go back to Paige's NXT matches. Paige is a beast. But then, if you go to, if you see her matches in the WWE, she looks like a piece of poop. In the ring. I don't know. Somebody's running it differently on NXT from the WWE because, oh my gosh, they're making that, like, page. Oh gosh. It's like they're, they're not bringing up that NXT guys really well. Emma, she's a beast, but she's getting buried. They do not give the NXT people anything, nothing to work with, no chance. Adam Rose, aka Leo Kruger. That guy, he's really good. Just yesterday, he had a amazing match with Tyson Kidd. That was like a 15, 20-minute match. It was awesome. But you know what? In the WWE, what do you see? Some guy that's all flashy with a stupid entrance and that can't wrestle that good. But he's actually an amazing wrestler. WWE does not give you a chance to see that. And I hope that they do not do that to Sami Zayn. And number two on things that I don't like about the WWE is that the disrespect. Like, um, for example, I was in, um, like, did I say this in the other video? But I'm going to mention it again. The disrespect. Like, look at NXT. Now, wrestlers, look, you guys, like, I'm not talking, a lot of the WWE crowds, like the actual WWE crowds, these guys could be wrestling in an amazing 20-minute match, and you guys would be like, boring, boring. Or the bell, it's a Divas match. I understand you guys don't like Divas, but give it a chance. The bell rung. I remember this, too. I was live. <clears throat> I was there live. It was the Divas match. The bell rung. As soon as the bell rung, the crowd chants boring. I'm telling you, the NXT crowd, they are so appreciative. They appreciate everything, anything that you give them. Because they understand. They understand the art of wrestling. It's just that a lot of the WWE fans, they, they like, um, they just, like, are so disrespectful, and I hate that. Number three on the list of things that I do not like about WWE is when the word buried. Now, 
I know what Barrett is. Like, when you're on the shelf or they're not doing anything with you or they're making you look like poop in the ring or they're not doing anything with you at the moment and they're just kind of, like, throwing you around, not, like, just throwing you from match to match and stuff like that, making you lose and stuff. Look. Somebody like Damian Sandow, he is getting buried. He is getting buried. Sandow is getting buried. Ziggler is not getting buried. You guys see that? Oh, my gosh. Ziggler, right? Have you ever watched, like, anything other than Monday Night Raw? Anything other than Monday Night Raw. Yeah, he loses a little bit on Monday Night Raw. Have you ever watched anything other than Monday Night Raw? This guy, he wins a lot of matches. If you watch things like Main Event, Superstars, SmackDown, um, Ziggler wins a lot. He is not getting buried just because he's not in the title picture at the moment. Ziggler is not getting buried. And you guys throw the word bury around. Ugh. Uh, Triple H buries people. Me and my buddy Mark are going to talk about the way Triple H buries people. Triple H does not bury people. Triple H does not bury people. Brock Lesnar buries people. Brock Lesnar buries people. How do you just... How are you just a part-timer? Then you show up and then you... Just jump people. That's burying people. You don't work for anything. And, like, you're putting people down in the business. Triple H, do you understand how many new guys he's helped out? I gotta sneeze. Yeah! <coughs> but do you understand? Do you understand that? Triple H... He can win a match against somebody. Triple H can win a match against somebody, right? For example, um, I don't know. Trip. For example, Triple H beats um, <clears throat> Curtis Axel. Oh, he's burying him. But like, Kane could just walk in and beat Curtis Axel or something like that. You're like, oh. Fine, whatever. He's not Triple H. He's not John Cena. He's not doing anything. Another example. John Cena beats Dolph Ziggler. Roman Reigns beats Dolph Ziggler. You say nothing. John Cena doesn't put anybody over cleanly. But you don't say nothing about Super Reigns, right? Superman punching people, not putting anybody over cleanly. Like, for real, you guys only... Say that about John Cena. Nobody says anything about Super Reigns, right? Because Roman Reigns, he's 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 Superman. <laughs> he's Samoan Superman, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number four. Number four of things that I hate about the WWE. Roman Reigns. Number five. On the things that I hate about the WWE, and this is not more, not the WWE, this is more of this, like, the WWE universe. A lot of you, I'm not talking basically anybody, but, like, if you do this, you know who you are. My favorite guy, Daniel Bryan, is not winning. I'm gonna stop watching. I'm gonna stop watching. The next pay per view. Oh my gosh, yeah! Yeah, that pay per view was so cool. That pay per view was so cool. But Danny Bryan lost, so I'm never watching again. Then you guys just like. Basically, just because your favorite guy. Daniel Bryan doesn't win every single match that he is in does not mean that you have to stop watching it. Real fans, they, they they really don't worry about 
like a real wrestling fan, a true wrestling fan, he at the end of the night he doesn't care about who ended up winning. He cares about the match that they put on. If they put on an amazing match, that's great. That's great for them. Of course, you'd be disappointed that your favorite wrestler didn't win. But so what? It was an amazing match. So, at least I got something out of it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Like, everything is not the Daniel Bryan show. Okay? Everything is not the Daniel Bryan show. Everything is not the Daniel Bryan show. Oh, why? Why is Daniel Bryan not the WWE World Heavyweight Champion? Why is Daniel Bryan not the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, huh? Huh? Because he is not an A plus player. He is a B plus player. You see? You you guys know about when Daniel Bryan he caught um. I don't know if you guys heard about this. You should, unless you're living under a rock. Um, Daniel Bryan's home was burglarized. If that's a word. Anyway, Daniel Bryan's home was burglarized, right? He caught one. He caught one. Two burglars um, went into his house and tried to steal stuff. He caught one of the burglars. But an A-plus player could have caught both. Alright, so that wraps up this video. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment. And dislike this video because I said something about Daniel Bryan. So yeah, do the predictable thing and please dislike this video. Thank you very much. Like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and do tomorrow. You know what to do. Stay beastly.